In another major story tonight, Baghdad is close to being encircled by the Islamic terrorist group known as ISIS. Much of Anbar province to the west and part of Diyala province to the northeast have fallen. The U.S. is hitting ISIS from the air, but it's up to the Iraqis to win on the ground. And Elizabeth Palmer met one of the generals. U.S. Humvees on patrol in a landscape that's hot, hostile, and dangerous. But it's 2014. Now the soldiers here are Iraqi, and the enemy calls itself ISIS. Shinoa, Shinoa. General Jabbar Naimal says the militants are local men who have a huge advantage over his troops drawn from across the country. They are knowing everything about their area. Yeah. The soldiers know nothing. Yeah, yeah. That's tough. It's a bad time for the Iraqi military. Every soldier here knows the army's been routed by ISIS time and again. But General Jabbar is one of a select group of commanders the U.S. and Iraqi governments hope will turn things around. He studied at the U.S. Army War College in Pennsylvania, and he's learned a thing or two about morale in a climate of defeat. I should be very close to my soldiers. My soldiers should be very close to each other. They should know what, how to treat their enemy. They all have to stay close to the local people who know better than anyone who's planting IEDs or hiding guns. The strategy is working. After months of heavy fighting, Iraqi forces south of Baghdad managed to push ISIS out. But only with backup from U.S. airstrikes three weeks ago, which forced the militants to retreat over the bridge, blowing it up behind them. Now they trade pot shots with the Iraqi forces left on guard. But no one here is relaxing. General Jabbar and his men may have taken this ground. Now they have to hold it. But there was more bad news for the military tonight, Scott. The army unit in the town of Heat, about 90 miles west of the capital, was under attack from ISIS. Today they pulled out, abandoned their bases and retreated. Elizabeth Palmer reporting for us tonight from Baghdad. Liz, thanks very much.